Our company basically wants to get people to enjoy music finally. So what we ended up starting out with in November is we had this idea where people tend to enjoy music, people tend to understand and appreciate music, but a lot of times their headphones don't go the way they wanted it to, right? Like you just get like a piece of headphone that you got either on flight or you got something with your iPhone and you just hold on to it and keep listening to it. It's something that has emotional investment, but not many people think about it. And I think what needs to happen is people should have a decision flow for getting a pair of headphones that's much simpler than anything else. So what we do is we get your initial form, and based on that, we curate a set of five headphones. We ship it to you, and you get two weeks to try it out. And whatever you like, you can keep. If it's nothing, no problem. It's free shipping both ways. The reason I decided to go with headphones to begin with is because when you look from top to bottom, when a person, a person's anatomy, there are a few things that are truly attached to the person, like smartphones, one of them, but it's a little bit impractical to be able to send five smartphones to somebody and then get them to pick something in two weeks. So we started with headphones. They're the basic, they're gender neutral because I don't have to do a female type headphone or a male type headphone. And there's enough complexity there where we can actually have a truly unique product that's not just Beats or JVC. So far, we've gotten a lot more attention than we anticipated. It's actually been an inventory problem more than anything else. Uh, we started out with our sound engineer going through about 300 pairs of headphones. Uh, we had enough suppliers that gave us enthusiasm and gave us support, so that's kind of how it worked out. But Primarily what gave us success was making sure our referrals were fantastic. Our customer service is truly what we focus on. And right now we've stopped our marketing efforts primarily because we focus on customer service. We try to make sure every single customer gets the experience that they should get without getting the salesman type five. Yeah. Instead of getting an impulse buy, let's, let me give you an example. When you go to Best Buy, you're either given a salesman that's pushing a sale on you or they're pushing the insurance on the sale, right? Like that's generally how they make money because they don't make commission. This way, it's emotional investment that's our focus, is getting somebody to try something in their own space, in their own time, with their own patience. You can take headphones to your commute, no problem. So long as you don't break it, it's fine. You can return it back to us and we're not gonna charge it for you, right? Uh, it's getting somebody the comfort level of deciding on their own why they should get it. And they shouldn't have too many choices because that gets confusing. You get a five choices, you get a finite set, and based on that, you're actually truly empowered to figure out what you want. We're not trying to sell you what we think is the best for you. We give you choices based on a small set of curation. There is no subscription model. You can have a box once a year, once a week, doesn't matter. Our focus had to be on customer service at this point. Like we, We're thankful that we got enough customers to start off with. We're pushing out inventory. We're, we're obviously circulating the inventory quite a bit because they come back to us. And a majority of our focus had to go to customer service. It just did, yeah, that's our focus right now. The plan for the growth of the company is once we get a legitimate amount of investment, which is above the 100,000 range, we're not looking for investment right now because we're still making mistakes, we're still learning, we're still figuring things out. But once we have enough uh, experience under our belt to truly grow this, we want to still have it centralized in one place to begin with. Um, I try not to make analogies, but uh, I got the benefit of meeting Brian Spaley, the CEO of Trunk Club, a few years ago. I'm sure he doesn't remember me, but I definitely remember that guy. And uh, we want to take the trunk club approach. We want to be able to have everything centralized where the person who's selling to you over the phone is the person that's curating the headphones, is the person that's boxing the headphones, is the person shipping the headphones out. And to truly grow that, it has to be centralized in one place. Inventory is one place, sales is one place, you got your staff, that's your engineering team in one place, customer service, one place. And if we can, one person. That is your true contact with Audiotrope. Mm -hmm.